Ugh. Alrighty lads, how you doing? Good? Great. Anyway, point in this video, we're gonna be showing you guys how you can get into the mining department for like 200 bucks. Pretty good idea. I can't guarantee it'll be as amazing as making like $1,000 a week, but you know what? It's just an interesting thing to get into. So why don't we uh, skip the introduction and hop straight into showing you the parts that we've got. Then we'll show you some results. Uh, blah, 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 we'll do some B-roll. It'll be great fun. Let's go. Alrighty, so for the parts, first off, we have a nice combo which we picked up for $80 on Gumtree, uh, which has an FX8100 CPU, a Gigabyte AM3 Plus motherboard, honestly I can't be bothered to go through the whole name, and 8 gigs of Kingston generic RAM. Alrighty, next up we have our graphics card. We have an RX550 4 gigabyte model, which is uh, pretty nice considering that we paid a whopping $40 for it. Not very happy with the purchase. Next piece, we've got a Thermaltake Tough Power 750 watt power supply. It's an older one, so it doesn't have any of the detachable cables like the fancy new ones. Point being, uh, we got it for $30 on Gumtree. It had a bunch of dust in it, but we've cleaned it out, ready for video. It's good to go. Next up, we've got a cheeky local deal, uh, a garage sale on our old Thermaltake case, which we managed to pick up for 10 bucks because it is a hot piece of garbage that are uh, neat as you go. And you know what? It fits our belt. It's uh, sleek, it's black, and it holds all our parts. Actually, I forgot to record this one, guys. Sorry. Uh, but we have a 256GB SSD from uh, Silicon Power, which we got for 20 bucks on Facebook, which is pretty late. And uh, we got them together for 15 bucks on Facebook, uh, and it's just a back generic fan and a little uh, Wi-Fi antenna, so you know what, that we can actually like surf the web and that sort of thing. Alrighty, two things just before we start. Number one, if you know anything about mining, you know that we're going to try and mine something like Ethereum that requires CPU power, not GPU power, because our GPU kind of sucks. And while our CPU still also kind of sucks, uh, it doesn't suck as bad. So we'll make more money off of doing mining on the CPU. Now, number two is that if you know anything about PCs and older AMD CPUs in general, is that they get hot real fast. And this case doesn't have any fans blowing in it. We've gotten one fan to suck out air and it's an OEM piece of trash. So basically this PC is going to be the equivalent of uh, hocking a fire in an enclosed room with no open windows and no way of getting it out and then going damn. I really hope it uh, dies down in there. So yeah, we're gonna um, see how it goes and if it can actually run for more than like 30 minutes without blowing up. So anyway, with that said, let's go build a PC. Darling. Alrighty, so this um, Frankenstein is done being built, and might I just say, it looks terrible, but you know what, for $200, it doesn't matter. Maybe. But you know what, it's okay, it's okay, because guess what, we have a very rare, one of a kind that you will never see anywhere that you buy any case new. Non-see-through side panel, except for this little bit. But anyway, point is, this thing's gonna come in clutch if you don't want the PC to look as ugly as it does. And not only that, but it's got like gray metal and that's disgusting. Like who wants that? Come on. Alrighty, just before we get to any sort of uh, mining or results benchmarking, that sort of thing, um, I just wanna let you know that when you do go to mine cryptocurrency, you have to install a certain BIOS for it. You can't just use Windows 10. But there's one thing that I've really been wanting to try out called Gamerhash, where basically it's a mining BIOS or mining app, I guess you'd say, inside Windows 10. And so I just wanted to see the results first that you can see with that before we get on to anything else. Now, as you can tell, if you only have like $200 to spend on a PC, you're probably gonna be using it, wanting to use it for more than just mining. So the good thing is about using Gamerhash is that you can have it mine, but it can also do other stuff like run Minecraft servers. Even you can use it as your daily PC. Alrighty lads, we're at the PC and you know what that means. It means terrible audio quality. Anyway, point being, we now have Gamerhash downloaded on this computer. So we're gonna run a few tests 
get it going and see how much we can earn like in a day, a month, uh, a week, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll report back to you once it's all done. All right, let's go. Alrighty, lads. Well, after much testing, I can say that I am quite impressed with the numbers. We were making a whopping 16.53 a month with Gamer Hash, uh, which I'm honestly quite surprised about. Uh, now, as you can tell, it's not the massive $4,000 a week that everyone was dreaming of when they started um, crypto mining, but you have to realize that we're running on an RX 550 and an FX 8100. The CPU is from nine, nine years ago, and that's a bit of a madness. So if it's running eight cores from nine years ago, then $16 a month isn't a bad thing. Now, as you may realize, we, with this, not only are making our money back for the PC just by running it on GamerHash, but we're also able to use it for other things. Like if you want to play Minecraft, this PC could probably do that. If you wanted to run a Minecraft server, PC could probably do that. If you want to play some Roblox, PC could probably do that. But not much else. So don't try it too much because this thing is old and it is hot and it gets really hot. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. I'm not going to tell you to do anything. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in another one. Ciao.